Hey YouTube, this is our sort of survival guide for The Purge. If you watched one of these already, you can skip the intro and go to right here. Um, if you haven't watched it, this is basically our like a short version, a cliff notes of uh, research that we are going to be doing for each house. And that is every house has references to the material, sometimes the references to older houses like the like Jack's house. This is us making a very short video uh, by us watching movies and or the TV show and talking to other people who've gone through it as well to find all those little hidden things. Now obviously this means there's spoilers, but the idea is it's a short enough video that you can probably watch it while you're in line before going to the house. So either if you've never seen the movie or the television show, or it's been a while, uh, that way you can get up to speed and you'll, you'll enjoy the house a little more because you'll you'll know what the, the different objects are for. So in this house, we have a list right here. Mm -hmm. So if you have any additions we forgot, any ideas for improvement for next year, you can put your constructive comments in the, the section below. Basically, the only thing to go over is the basic plot of The Purge. It's an alternate reality where uh, the new founding fathers have put in a law that once a year for 12 hours from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. the next day, uh, all crime is legal. Uh, so if you want to get something out of your system, this is the night to do it. Now, most of the movies have dealt with the violent aspect um, the first movie dealt with uh, a pair of um, uh, well-dressed, you know, uh, higher educated, you know, like rich white people uh, wearing face masks uh, who are trying to chase a homeless guy and purge on him. Uh, a, another family took him in and they spent the whole night, you know, hanging around and trying to get in the house and they eventually do and, and you know, that's the plot of the first movie. The second movie uh, so when you go in the house and you see those, those smile face masks and, and you know people are dressed up nice and you're in an actual house and the house alarm is going off, uh, that's basically you know the first movie. And then the second movie is deal dealing more with like um, the city, what happens out in the city, you know how different people purge and things of that nature. So when you see like the um, what looks like uh, you know gang members, you know dressed up and face painted. Uh, they're from the second movie. Um, if you go through a room and you see like, you know, a, a well-dressed lady saying, thank you for your uh, contri contribution to this hallowed day. Praise be to the new founding fathers, you know, things like that. That's also from the second movie. Rich people have um, the gang members uh, bring victims to them and they pay for the right to purge. Um, so that, you know, um, Few things to look out for are the you know the small face masks for the first movie. Um, you might see a guy towards the end with um, just a, a white blank mask and it says dog on it. That's from the second movie. That was the uh, the gang leader uh, from the second movie. Uh, just you know things of that nature. You know that, that that's what you should look out for. So again, if you missed if we missed anything, let us know. Uh, if you have ideas. For the future, if you realize that we didn't turn this spinny thing on over there, um, <laughs> oops. That's so, an Easter egg. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't.